Hi, I'm Laura from Metal Art Violin, and today I'm going to talk about 10 reasons your bow is shaking or wobbling while you're playing. I've watched a lot of videos on this myself, and I've noticed almost everyone approaches it from the angle of performing or being nervous, and they blame that shaking bow on being nervous. And I have a lot of students that complain to me about this problem just when they're at home by themselves practicing and they're not nervous at all. Uh, now the reasons your bow shakes when you're nervous and when you're just at home is similar. Um, and it has to do with an overarching problem of tension. And we're going to go into the details of that. But first I want to cover three reasons your bow might be shaking or wobbling that don't have to do with tension. Number one, equipment. If you're playing on a violin outfit that is cheaper than $200, maybe even cheaper than $500, your bouncing bow might not really be your problem. It might be the bow or the violin or the strings that you're using. So I've got a link in my comments section below that covers my favorite violin outfits and my favorite strings. So try that out. Number two reason that your bow is bouncing is that you're not starting from the string. Anytime you begin to play, you want to make sure that your bow is on the string before you move the bow, right? If you're coming from the string and trying to start, then you're much more likely to bounce the bow. Number three reason your bow is bouncing is that you're not starting in the right place in the bow. So whether you have to start from the string or if you have to start from off the string, the place where you start makes a difference. So you notice that the middle is a lot bouncier than the frog. Now the rest of the reasons your bow is shaking or wobbling has to do with tension. So the fourth reason that you're having this problem is you're not warming up. Now warming up means stretching and it means playing scales and open strings. Number five, and this is a big one, using pressure to get a tone and not weight. All right, so let's talk about this. Even if you've been playing violin for five minutes, you've probably realized that to get the bow to make a sound, some sort of force has to be applied downward on the bow. You can't just let the bow gloss over the strings. There has to be a type of force that is applied. And one force is bad and one force is good, and those are really the only ways to get a sound. So the way that is bad that you don't want to use is pressure. And what you do want to use is weight. Right? So let's talk about what's the difference. Well, the, what you do want to use is weight, and the way you get weight is you're relaxing your shoulder, your arm, you're transferring all of this relaxed weight through your fingers into the bow, and that's going to help you produce that good solid tone that you want. Now pressure, I think of it as coming more from the wrist or just the fingers and trying to use just that, those muscles, to press to try to get a sound. And pressure will always make you have bad sounds, scratchy sounds, bow wobbles, bow shakes, um, the whole nine yards. Number six, having an improper bow hold or being too tense with your bow hold. Now, when you're holding your bow, you've got to be relaxed. It's not a bow grip, it's a bow hold. You're basically just kind of balancing the bow here. So if you're tense while you're holding it, or if you're doing something weird with your bow hold, then there's no way you can adequately transfer that weight through your fingers to the bow. And I've got a link below in the comments to how to have a relaxed bow hold, so check that out. Number seven, is similar and it's not having the correct position for your right arm. If your arm is down here like this, I call this the T-Rex arm, if you're playing with your elbow down here while you're um, bowing, right, there's no way to use weight because you can't transfer weight 
up. You can only kind of transfer weight down. So if you're doing something like this, or even if it's kind of low, you're probably pressing um, to get a sound, and that's going to create that bow wobble. The eighth reason your bow is bouncing or wobbling is because you're not applying the right amount of weight for where you are in the bow. So you've probably already realized that the amount of weight to get a good sound at the frog is totally different than the amount of weight at the tip that you need. And what you're doing when you're going from down bow to up bow is you're constantly changing the amount of weight you're putting into the bow to get a good sound. Right? I know it's complicated. And it also gets more complicated because as you're changing strings, you need a different amount of weight at the frog with the E string than you do at the frog with the G string. So how in the world do you learn and do you teach your muscles to always have that exact amount of weight? And you just have to experiment, experiment, experiment. You've got to take the time to do those open strings when you're warming up. Let yourself make mistakes. That's totally fine. And you just have to kind of experiment and see what your muscles need to do to get the best tone without that wobble for each part of the bow and for each string, all right? Number nine, tensing up during changes in bow direction. So especially when you're going from an up bow to a down bow in the frog. And the reason why is that your muscles have to be relaxed, your wrist has to be relaxed to transfer that weight. And if there's kind of an incorrect amount of tension, um, generally students give too much weight on the down bow and that's gonna cause the bouncing bow. The 10th reason your bow is shaking or wobbling is just because you're out of practice. Maybe you haven't practiced in a few days or weeks or years and it takes time for your muscles to get back into that groove. I noticed this myself if I've been gone a week or two. When I come back, my muscles aren't as responsive. It takes that time warming up to get them back to where they were. Or maybe you just haven't been playing long enough. Like I said, it takes a lot of time for your muscles to understand what it is you're asking for them to do. And it takes time to not only learn in your mind what you need to do, but to condition your muscles to play the way you want to play. I notice this myself. Uh, sometimes I like to change hands. And I bow with my left hand and hold the violin with my right, just because it makes me <laughs> remember uh, what it's like to play the violin from scratch. And what I notice when I do this is that even though my mind knows exactly what I need to do to get a good, relaxed, not shaky tone, my bow still shakes and wobbles. And that's just because I haven't conditioned these muscles to relax and do what I'm asking them to do. Last of all, I want you to remember that if you're frustrated while you're playing, it's going to make the tension so much worse and it's gonna make the bow shake or the bow wobble worse. So if you're frustrated, put the violin away or play something else and come back when you are relaxed. I promise that if you keep doing these open strings, keep practicing these relaxation techniques, this will become more automatic. Your muscles will know what to do to avoid that bow shake or that bow wobble. So stick with it, you can do it. All right, I hope this video helped you. Please check out my website, meadowlarkviolin.com for a lot of great violin resources. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin. Happy practicing.